Welcome to this little YouTube episode where I will just talk a little about my fireworks uh, shooter. This is a 24 channel rocket shooter for New Year's. Uh, New Year's is coming up just a few hours away. I just finished building this. So uh, unfortunately I do not have any video where I'm actually building it. So instead I'm just going to briefly go through what I have done. So in the bottom here you can see uh, LEDs lighting up. This is just normal PVC piping that you use for cabling inside walls. Um, just very, very easy, you know, easy construction, light construction. There are some rudimentary 3D printed pieces that I've done. You can find those pieces in the link below if you want to uh, build your own with the same design. Um, it is controlled by an Arduino system. Uh, I chose a Arduino Mega for this 2560, uh, just for the simple reason that it had uh, 24 easy uh, accessible channels that I needed for this project. First, I will just guide you through a little technical insight in how everything is wired and the setup, um, and then we can take it out, push some uh, rockets into it load up the channels, let it rip. So starting from the bottom here, um, we can see the uh, LEDs that light up every tube. The uh, thought behind this was to have a little light show at the same time as you're firing the rockets, uh, so that could be nice. Uh, I've just taken a demo code uh, that was included in the uh, Adafruit NeoPixel library. I think this is called the Strand Test. I just did some modifications to the existing code and then I included it into my firing code as well. The uh, system, the controlling system here, the base, as I said before, you can spot an Arduino Mega 2560 in there. And then it's just driven by three of these eight relay module boards to make up for 24 channels in total. In here we can see just a normal 5 volt power supply. It's only powering up the Arduino board and the LEDs themselves. So nothing particularly strange about that. It's very easy. Uh, here though we have an electronic battery charger, this is for mainly for car batteries, uh, it can push 12 volts with 5 amps out, which is perfect for uh, lighting up the uh, fuses. Here we go, there's some tantalum wire, and when you short circuit that tantalum wire with the 12 volt 5 amps, it uh, starts to glow. And, uh, yeah, the idea is that the fuse for the rockets will lie against this and yeah, they will light up when this starts to glow, of course. So we have 24 channels of that as well. So yeah, just a little light show down there. Let me show you briefly how uh, the tantalum works. So I'm just gonna plug this baby in, it's a separate power now. So let me do that. There we go. So now you can see the order here. Oh, we need to wait for this one to come on. This should be the force channel coming in now. Now we have a light show down here, so now we go now we will come on. Yeah, there it goes. So yeah, that will probably be more than enough to uh, light the fuses uh, that we need to light. And yeah, you can just see that I have a common ground wire for all of these. These common ground wires go all the way to all channels, like so. And then there's a separate white wire for every channel. It goes down here. Just follow all the other wires down into the control box here and then they are in turn uh, connected to these relays uh, and they in turn 
are connected of course to the Arduino. Uh, these little ones here, these are the uh, common um, power that goes sooner or later from this one. And you can see here, I just latch on these with, uh, with a crocodile uh, clip. So one for ground and one for power. And yeah, that's, uh, that's what you need basically. six hours left until the new year so I'm gonna take this outside I'm gonna test fire it uh, properly in the cold so I know if there needs to be any adjustments to the uh, fuser timer if it needs to blow longer or not because of the temperature I don't think that will matter much but better to uh, you know, to check it out yeah and then I'm just gonna load it up with with rockets Okay, so that is it for this little video clip. I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you enjoyed the project, uh, I hope it gave you some kind of insight or ideas about the Arduino platform and what you can do with it. Uh, the sky is the limit basically, so go out there and create your own cool Arduino projects. 
If you like this video, please hit that like button. Uh, also consider leaving a comment if you like. Uh, everything is appreciated. And uh, yeah, if you're also looking forward to other builds with Arduino that I might partake in, please hit that subscribe button and uh, follow.